Well, the energy drink turned out pretty good, so we're back at it again. Is it possible for you guys to, like, not get in my shot every single video? Yeah, I'm just gonna... There you go. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Questionable Shorts, the show where I have a question needing answering. So I answer it. A couple of episodes ago, we actually did this very same thing, but with an energy drink. So uh, I went to the next thing I thought of, which is actually also something that my brother, who I love very much, thank you, Kyle, which is a uh, soda, specifically root beer. I love root beer. I don't know how it's gonna make a pancake taste, but we're gonna find out. Question simple, we're just going to make a pancake but instead of using water or milk, like the instructions say I should, we're gonna use some other type of liquid. Uh, this episode is, again, root beer. As I make more of these, because again, I do have other ideas for liquids and various fluids to use, I wonder how, if there's gonna be an episode where I don't pause and just kind of wonder what the f I'm doing. Like, I'm sure I am angering every single culinary person out there. Babish, my lord, I am sorry. All right, so we've got our flour. Now we just go ahead and get our root beer. And uh, we'll do the illustrious four here. It's, it's, it's the same thing from the energy drink video where I heard the pop of the can and then I instantly was just hit uh, with the question of what the hell am I doing? Let's get into it. Cool. This is probably gonna dye the uh, the pancake a little bit. I'm, I'm imagining it might be a little bit difficult to tell what, when the pancake is gonna be done, because I'm pretty sure this is gonna give it a darker color. At least that's just what I'm assuming. Here we go. No, oh, it's all busy again. All right. Once again, the liquid's in there, so no turning back now. Otherwise, it's just a waste of good uh, pancake mix. Okay, this is already looking real strange. <laughs> oh my god. Because this, this is like a lot of like added syrups and sugars, so like it's always interesting to see what kind of consistency it's gonna be. This, I think, is a little, whoa, that's weird. Honestly, I can't remember what normal pancake mix looks like now, so I don't know if this is thicker or if this is just what it looks like normally. It kind of looks like ice cream a little bit, like like maybe like a shake or something like that. I'll bring it closer to the camera so you guys can see. But like it kind of that's what it kind of looks like. Interesting enough, I think it's a little bit easier to to mix than the uh, energy drink was. Like maybe this has to do with the car because I feel like. Like, the, the energy drink was carbonated, but I'm pretty sure this is more carbonated than that. Because, I don't know, it just feels a little, like, a little, like, lighter and airier. A more, more airy. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know what the hell to, to call it. Yeah, let me go ahead and show you guys here. So, this is the, the mix. Might be a little out of focus. I'm sorry about that. But, like, I don't know. I feel, I feel like that's the, I don't know. I feel like it's a different consistency than normal. Which I mean, like, it's a different liquid, so of course it's gonna be different. Don't. Please don't. Don't. It's not you. It's not you. 
it's not you, 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 it's not you. Alright, let's go ahead and fry her up and see how she turns out. Alright, welcome once again to my stove top. Here is the batter. You can kind of get a better look at it here. It's definitely more brown than batter normally is for pancakes. But again, we'll see how it goes. We'll let the pan warm up a little bit, then we'll get ready to go ahead and put that batter in there. It's funny because with the energy drink, I there was a moment where I was stirring it and I got a, caught a whiff of it, and it was a very interesting smell. But I actually, I'm not smelling this one. Let me let me bring it closer here for a little sniff. I honestly, there's a slight hint slight slight hint of the root beer but it honestly it honestly kind of smells like play-doh a little bit yeah it, it smells like play-doh just a tiny bit all right here we go let's see how it cooks all right got a little bit of batter on the side of the bowl but that's okay oh yeah that's a really that is a that is a deep brown not a deep brown color but that you can tell that is brown I'm not hearing any well that's it's frying normally that's what I'm trying to say here there's no weirdness happening happening you know it's it's so far so good it's it's a, it's frying like a normal pancake it's a little harder to get up though I'm guessing that has to do with like the sugar and like the, the syrup that they use in, you know, in root beer because it, it was a little bit harder to peel up off the pan. I know you're supposed to, to grease it down first with like Pam or something like that, but I don't have that and I have like all non-stick pans anyway, so I don't, I'm not really bothering. But that was a little harder to scoop up off the pan than it was with the energy drink. I'm just trying not to burn it here, that's the last thing I want is burnt soda pancake. <laughs> oh, what the hell am I doing? Okay, I can definitely tell that this side's a little bit burnt. But I mean, so far so good. It's... That's a pancake. You know, I very much always, like, I see baking, and this is definitely, like, basically baking. I see baking as chemistry, um, and it, it's honestly surprising me just how resilient pancakes are so far. Because, like, water and milk have wildly different properties than energy drink and soda but so far in two episodes we come out with what looks like a normal pancake but yeah let's go ahead and give it a taste all right once again we've done something utterly ridiculous and once again we've actually ended up with a pancake which is honestly still surprising to me but yeah here we go this is root beer pancake no syrup taste test Once again, just tastes like a pancake. I, I don't know, maybe I'm just not good at tasting, but that just tastes like a pancake. One thing I will notice though, is that it it feels a little more, like it's cooked all the way, 100%. But I don't know, it feels a little more gooey in my mouth. Like the consistency is a little off. But anyway, let's go ahead and get to the with syrup taste test because I think this definitely brings out a lot of the different tastes when it comes to these kinds of pancakes. All right. What do we got here? Okay. Okay. I think I'm definitely tasting the root beer now. Hold on. I can definitely taste that it's much sweeter than uh, a normal pancake would be. I think that has to do with the root beer playing with the uh, with the syrup. Because now I can definitely taste some of those like some of those um, root beery tastes. That is in fact the scientific term. Yeah, with with these few bites I've taken, it definitely tastes like uh, the consistency is definitely different. The texture is definitely different from a normal pancake. But it's not bad. Like it's not gross or anything. 
But all right, what do you get when you substitute water or milk with root beer and pancakes? A slightly sweeter pancake. That's, that's really about it. Goodbye.